Uh, this is the market update for Northwest Michigan for um, July but, and June, but really for the first six months of the year. Uh, and we were uh, pleasantly surprised on the strength of the market for this year compared to last. We knew it would be strong, but we weren't sure how much stronger it would be. Uh, at some point in time, the pent-up demand from the recession gets settled and we sort of settle back to what you'd expect the normal economic activity would be. Because in housing, we tend to follow the economy, we tend to follow job growth and income growth. We don't really lead that. So if the, as the economy expands and, and it gets better, housing follows behind that. But we've been living off of, for the last four years, the pent-up activity from, um, from the recession. And for Traverse City and for the Northwest Michigan market, that's a combination of the, the strength of the core economic engine of Northwest Michigan, as well as the, the, the um, uh, resort communities and the second homes and that, that driving that market as well. So the good news is that the feeder markets, uh, Grand Rapids, Southeast Michigan, and, and certainly Chicago, but to a lesser extent, because the South, uh, Southeast Michigan and Grand Rapids economic engine is really stronger than, from a housing standpoint than even Chicago, but Chicago's still doing well. So all of those feeders are doing well. The core economic engine of Traverse City is doing well. So, uh, so that is a really good base for what's, what we're seeing uh, in the marketplace. Um, as uh, uh, if you've been looking for houses, you know that the inventory is tight, particularly in the under 250 uh, market. Um, and we break the market up into under 100, 100 to 250, 250 to 500, and 500 above. So we've got four segments. The under $100,000 market, which during the recession was the most active because values had declined and that was sort of a big bulge, now that shrunk quite a bit. And there are actually fewer sales in that price range because homes have appreciated and now they've appreciated out of that into the the 100 to 250 range. And what's left um, in that under 100 is, tends to be homes that are, that either need work, are an ideal location, and uh, therefore a little less desirable. So the, the buyer activity is being concentrated in that 100 to 250 and 250 to 500. Therefore, it's not surprising to see that, that inventories are declining in those markets. Uh, sales are up. Um, we have seen in the 250 to 500, that upper middle market, we've seen inventory start to rise again uh, this year, uh, which is giving some relief to buyers looking. Now sales are up more than that, so inventories are still uh, settling a little bit, but the new listings coming to the market are at least matching or slightly exceeding um, new sales. So that um, tells you that the, that the market might be starting to look towards an equilibrium uh, maybe for next year we might start to see that. In the luxury markets, the over half million, we have seen that. Uh, although what's unusual with Northwest Michigan is inventories actually are about the same in that upper price range this year than last year, which nowhere else in the state is that true. And everywhere else in the state, the upper end inventories are significantly higher than, uh, than they were last year. Now, what is true is that the number of homes sold in the upper end is also higher this year than last, and that's true throughout the state. So although uh, the upper end is, is slowing or is moving slower compared to the rest of the market, it is still in a growth mode, uh, just a slower growth mode. And that's what we'll see the re rest of this year, I think, and into next year, is we'll see good numbers, growth numbers, buyers coming to the market, probably more buyers um, comparing this month to last year, the same month throughout the rest of the year, but it'll be at a slowing pace um, because again we're starting to move towards a bit of a settling of the market. And if we're seeing that settling, and we are, throughout the state and the feeder markets for Northwest Michigan, then we'll start to feel it there as well. Um, the, the mitigating factor to that is that the core economic engine for Traverse City is very strong. So, uh, so that will continue to move things forward as well. But, um, but it's still, it's a very positive market. And in terms of buyers, um, you might want to, if you're looking for homes, first time home buyers in particular, um, you might want to consider expanding. If you're looking, for example, in downtown Traverse City, which is probably the, one of the hottest markets in the state, you might want to consider expanding your circle. And you probably already started to do that because it's very difficult to find available home, or at least without overbidding in downtown. And also look at those homes that have been in the market for a while. The homes that need a little work, uh, that expands your inventory to look at. And that, that's true for every price range. 
but particularly for the, the under 250 and 250 to 500 where, where we're seeing inventories being tighter. Uh, upper end, um, sellers need to be more patient. Buyers are picky. There's a lot to choose from in the marketplace. Uh, so, um, uh, and the best homes, no matter what price range, are selling in 10 to 30 days. Um, so, uh, if you're, even if you're looking at the upper end and you see there's a lot of lake homes for sale, there's a lot of inventory, uh, understand that the nicest homes will sell in 30 days regardless of, uh, of where they are, their, their price range. So you need to move quickly or take a look at those homes that uh, need some work and, uh, and there's, there's some good opportunities still in the marketplace for that. So, so overall, Northwest Michigan has, uh, has come the first six months into a really strong market, stronger than we'd expected. Uh, second half of the year, we still expect to be strong. We'll be slightly pessimistic to say it'll be a little bit slower than, uh, than the first half, but still very strong for everyone. Thanks.